Hey, what's up? This is Phil Ebner with Video School Online bringing to you another lesson for Premiere Pro. This is Adobe Premiere Pro right now I'm in and today I just want to give you a little bit of an overview of the program itself. I'll walk you through each of these boxes because I know when you open this up it's kind of daunting. When I first started video editing it was always scary opening up a new program and it took me a while to even start with working with uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, I hope you enjoy this lesson. As always, let me know any questions or comments in the comments section. Uh, so uh, let's get into it. Um, and actually, before I get into it, make sure that uh, wherever you're watching this, you are watching it in HD quality 1080, 1920 by 1080, and watch it in full screen. Because if you're not, if you're watching on YouTube or Udemy, you know, it's just going to be a small screen and you won't be able to follow me, uh, follow along that well. But uh, if you're wa watching full screen in HD, it should be as clear as if you were just watching your own screen. Um, so go ahead and do that now if you aren't already in HD quality. Cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm excited to have you here. So let's just go through uh, this um, uh, this great uh, program. Uh, over here in the left, um, top left, you'll see I have my project bin. So this is basically uh, where your you keep all your files, um, or you can have multiple projects if you want. Um, but as you can see here, I have my all my files organized into uh, different folders such as video, sequences, titles, audio, and graphics. Each one of those, you know, you can double click and it opens up another box, um, another window, or you can just use the drop down menu. You can label these different colors um, if you want and uh, do all sorts of different things um, from it. So you can import items by just dragging and dropping. So say you're, whether you're in a Windows or a Mac, you can just go through your documents, find your video, and then just basically click and drag and drop into that window, and it will bring it in. Uh, down here, there's just different view i uh, view view options for your folder. So you can do icons where you know it opens up the icons uh, opens up your f your files in an icon view so you can see like for videos this is maybe nice I personally like just the list view so that's nice and easy and aligned uh, you can find things if you have a ton of items in here it, it might get a little bit hectic and crazy so you can actually search through all your folders with that uh, you can create new bins for you know whatever you want music or whatever you have with that folder option and down here with the it looks like a little post-it note it's called the new item this is where you can create new sequences uh, new titles new you know black video uh, color mats all sorts of things uh, so this is you'll be using this a lot as well all right, let's go over to the center section. Uh, this is your source uh, kind of viewer. Um, this is where when you are looking at your video or your audio, for example, you'll double click it over here and it will bring it up here into the viewer. And here you can preview it and uh, you can make selections of you know what part of the clip you want. So in this video, I was pouring a beer for my how to brew beer course, uh, beer br making course, and so I did a couple takes, and you know I find the right take, and that's where you you can make selections through here with all of these options down here. Um, the marking in and out buttons right here. This will mark the spot where you want your clip to start and then you go to the end of it and click this mark out or you can just press the I and the O buttons on your keyboard. There's lots more over here that you can do. Uh, there's different ways to play and you know so you can use these buttons to play. You can use this shuffle slider 
to you know fast forward or uh, rewind. And same with this jog uh, slider, you can go back and forth that way. There's other options right here too, um, such as even exporting a frame, like taking a still of your footage like this. And then if you just want this still image, you can quickly do an export image right there. You'll see this video uh, and audio option right here. If you want to get both the video and the audio to your timeline, you would just click and drag and drop. Or you can just do the video by clicking this and dragging, or clicking this and dragging. So as you can see, when I do the video, it just brings down the video layer. If I do both, by clicking the video itself, it does both. And just the audio will just bring the audio down. This, this uh, window also has some tabs. It has the audio mixer, so this is for the entire project. Uh, it's kind of the master mixer, so don't think that it's just for this clip or whatever clip that you have selected. This is for, it's the master audio mixer, so you have the master track, and then you also have, for each track, you have uh, levels and you know different options to make it left or right, speaker, um, increase and decrease the levels and whatnot. Metadata might be up on yours, um, and if you don't see these specific uh, windows or tabs, you can go up to your window option, click window up at the top, sorry it's off the screen right now, but it's just up in your file menu or on the top of your, your screen, go to window and then you can click on and off any of these uh, bins or folders or windows, whatever you want to call them. The effects control, okay, so metadata, this uh, holds the metadata for whatever clip you are selecting. Um, so, you know, if there are, there, if there is metadata, then you'll see it. For effects control, this is if you have a clip selected in your timeline, uh, it will bring up that clip uh, effect control. So from here, you can adjust the motion, the position, the size, you can rotate, you can change the opacity. You can even speed up or slow down the clip, and you can also control the audio. If you add any effects, they will show up here, and from this menu or this tab, you can control them. Over here on the right, this is, uh, I guess, your canvas, I would call it. This is, uh, it, calls, it calls it the program, but I would call it uh, uh, a canvas. Um, and this is where you see whatever's on your timeline. So this is kind of like the final product view. So when you play your timeline, and that gets into the beer, uh, the more chance for it to get you know, certain bacteria. Or so there you have it. Like I was playing my course, and it was playing here in the canvas. And of course, there's different options for viewing it. So you can do like 50%, 10%, or just make it fit to the size of this. And you can change the size of any of these windows by going to the edge or the corner and clicking and dragging. So I'll go to the corner and if I want to make that canvas bigger, which sometimes I like to have it bigger so it's easier to see, I can just do that. And same here, you can have lots of different options for um, playing or doing uh, uh, screen caps and all that kind of stuff. Down here in the bottom left are is some other, are some other th tabs. Uh, First and foremost, you have your effects panel. You have lots of different bins with uh, effects that already come with the program. You have video effects, transitions, audio effects, and audio transitions. You can just search through them by going through each folder. Or if you have an effect that you know you want, you can just type it in. So say I have, I want uh, cross dissolve. I can just type in cross, and cross dissolve comes up. Or for an audio fade, I can do constant power, and you know, I type in constant, and constant power, constant gain comes up. So that's the effects bin. And like I said, when you click and drag those effects onto your clips in your timeline, they'll also appear in your effects control up here, where you can change the settings and customize. There's some of these other tabs, like the media browser. This is actually kind of like in Mac, your Finder, or in Windows, if you're looking through your, your computer or your documents, it's uh, Adobe Premiere Pro's own 
sort of file system so you can actually look through your files this way and click and drag and drop items into your project up here. Info just shows the info of whatever clip is selected. You know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of pointless. I've never really used it, so usually I have that off. History, again, will, um, or not again, but this will show you all the edits that you've made and all the different things you have done. So you can go back to a certain um, edit that you did by double-clicking, and it'll go back to that item. Um, so that's awesome to do in case you've made a lot of changes, but you you know you want to go back and back in time and rather than having to re-edit everything you can just go to your history and do that. The big thing is the timeline. This is where you lay out all of your footage. Um, you have different video tracks right here. Right now the standard is three. You have three audio tracks. You can zoom in on these using the scroll bar, the slider down here. So you can zoom in on the timeline. As you can see here for my video, I have you know my video down below. I have my titles and my effects up here. Um, and you can see the time up here. See, it goes on like 44 seconds, 59 seconds. Um, you can make these tracks larger or smaller by hitting this triangle. And this allows you to see like the waveforms for the audio or you can see like parts of the video clip you can see the video clip and an image from that video clip uh, so it's easy to tell what that clip is so you'll be spending a lot of time doing working with the timeline over here you have your uh, audio um, meters so as you play your clip you'll see this bouncing up and down we have prepped our bottles we've sanitized them we added our sugar just like so and that's great for, um, you know, obviously monitoring your audio. You definitely don't want it to be hitting up here, and it'll go red if it's peaking, and it will be distorted. Down here, you have all your tools, or, you know, they might be up here as well. Um, these are all your tools for editing. You know, you have your sliders, your rolling edit tool. You have your, your razor tool that helps you cut. You have your pen tool that will allow you, you to customize your own keyframes, zoom tool to, you know, you just click these and you can zoom in or zoom out of the timeline. Uh, all these different things are great uh, tools and you'll learn a lot about them in future lessons. Uh, but for now, that is a lot and I hope you're not too overwhelmed by everything that we've been talking about. Um, in in Adobe Premiere, but uh, I think you guys got a good handle of it, and uh, for now, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Please leave comments below, hit the like button, leave me a review, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next lesson, and I hope you guys have a really great day. Talk to you later. Bye.